a little better. You use a smaller brush. And so you just want to um, to shoot out. Um, have this little arc there and some spikes here and there. And then it's gonna zoom right past the field. It's gonna be like a dragon. Rawr. And you can draw out in this little gray area because it's not gonna show up on the actual animation we export it. And so if you want you could do like this little wavy thing. Or let's have it um, shoot out a little more straight for a while. And then later we're gonna like make it wavy. This look awesome. And so yeah. You wanna draw it and then fill it in later. Or you could do it whenever you want. Just so yeah, anyways. So now it's gonna be thinning out a little bit. Um because it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker and weaker. I'm just talking to myself. Um, and so yeah, just have it shrink, and then it's gonna be this little line. And there's all sorts of styles you could do this. I'm just gonna show you one of it, but it's gonna teach you the basics of everything. Oops, ran out of frames. So I'm gonna open up this folder and just highlight some frames and extend it by pressing F5. And I'm just gonna close it again, lock it. And so, yeah, I just want to um, see this little uh, little energy thing there. Let's we'll have it like like um, like shoot through, I guess, or just make it wavy you now. So it's gonna have this little wave to it. It's gonna be like. It's gonna disappear. I made no sense at all, but whatever. So this part is gonna be like a separate particle. Um, because see here, it's really thin compared to this and that. This is thin, so it's probably gonna break off somewhere here. And so I'm gonna extend this. This really make it wavy looking. Um, again, this is only one style. There's a lot of different styles. To a blast. Um, maybe make that one a little thinner. Make this bottom part fat because it's going down and it's going up. And so we'll fill that in. And at the end, I'm probably gonna add some particles here, just showing like a little trail behind it. But we're, we'll work on the big parts first. And so it's just about to break off right now, so I'll just break it off slowly. And right there. Well, let's have the separate part come out like that. And we'll just have this little particle like we did before. This is like a little curve, so just do the middle, 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 gone. And so you have that, and I'm just going to fill it in at the end. So now I'll just add some little connection part, broken thing, and I missed the spot here. some over here. You don't want to get lazy with these um, effects because if you're lazy it'll really show and it's gonna lower the quality of your animation. So spend a lot of time on these. You can add a lot of detail to it and make it all fancy and stuff. And as you can see it's not it's pretty good right now. We could probably add some double frame here and there to make it last longer, but not in this tutorial. And so for this one, I'm thinking maybe since the blast is going this way, it'll be like a little snake and snake its way out of the screen. 
So we'll just have the end, the thin part, be like a little tail. We'll start from here. I'll just go out of the screen. Because I'm lazy. <laughs> yeah. But also it doesn't look that bad if you add enough frames. It's really important to add some easing in, uh, a lot of easing into your particles because it looks a lot better with it than without. And so yeah, it's gone. And it kind of goes pretty fast. It goes really fast, so I'll just leave some extra particles behind. Um, just following the little trail it went. Uh, use the comma and period to move up frame and back frame. That's hotkey. So, if you're wondering how I'm moving back, that's how I'm doing it. And yeah. I'll just add particles wherever I feel it needs the needs for it. And I think that's gonna be good enough. Let's just see it. Play it. Poof. Not bad, right? Okay, looks good. Looks good. Now we should just add a little particle here at the end. Just have it sputter a little. And it should be good after that. Um, I'll show some other styles in the sidebar or description box, maybe. If I have time. I really want to play Team Fortress 2 right now. <laughs> If you guys want, you can add me, my Steam account. Uh, uh, send me a message and I'll give it to you. I don't want random people just spamming me stuff. But yeah, you guys should add me. Play TF2 mostly on Steam. Yeah. And so just add particles like I did in the last tutorial. Um, and here's your final production. It should look something like that. Uh, this is quickly done. You should spend more time on it, add some more details and particles, uh, make it look more fancy and stuff. But basically, you want this little charge up with the little spiral like thing or energy balls forming and then moving into it. But what's important is you need like a little center. You need a center of gravity, I guess, and you want everything to go into it and have it charge up, expand, contract, and blow up, or shoot out. Um, have it shoot out really fast, shoot it out of the screen or whatever, like maybe there's going to be a wall here, it's going to hit it, it's going to stop here, you're going to have some particles flying outwards, and you guys should know how to do that by now. And just get creative with it, and I hope you learned something, uh, thanks for watching, this is a tutorial made by Theory from the PP clan and goodbye